is zero even or odd? This is quite the quarantine conundrum I found myself in, so I thought I would dig a little deeper. First, and we're going to be talking about three main points. The weirdness of zero, what constitutes an even number, and is zero even or odd? First, with the weirdness of zero. If you have a fraction and you have zero divided by any number, let's just say seven, zero divided by seven or any fraction under here, or any number, equals zero because you have nothing, trying to divide nothing into seven parts, you have nothing in each individual part. However, if you have, if you flip it and have seven divided by zero, this is unknown. Now, if you have seven, for a minute, let's not have zero and let's have dx, or the symbol for an infinitesimal. An infinitesimal is a number so, so small and so close to zero, it is essentially one divided by infinity. So if you have anything up here divided by an infinitesimal, it equals infinity. However, once you make that jump from the infinitesimal to truly nothing, you're left with an undefined answer. And even more weird than this is zero divided by zero. Now, if you have any other fraction, for example, you could have five divided by five, or any number divided by itself, it equals one. However, with zero divided by zero, you have nothing over something, which we talked about here, that should equal zero. One of the several ways mathematicians have used to combat the weirdness of zero over zero when it comes to function is using El Hapital's rule. Fun fact, El Hapital wasn't the actual man who invented the rule. That was a different person. El Hapital was the one person who just published the rule. Now using El Hapital's rule, it says that if you have a function, we'll consider x divided by x when it has a limit limit x equals zero. Basically, limit x equals zero is a fancy way for saying x equals zero and the function's x divided by x, which means zero over zero, which, as we've mentioned, is undefined. However, using El Hapital's rule, it says if you take the derivative of the numerator and the denominator, which, uh, let me back up a second. So I said with El Hapital's rule, you take the derivative of the numerator and the denominator. Well, let me explain what a derivative is. If you have a xy graph and a function that goes through the graph, the derivative calculates at a specific point on that function. We'll say right here at the very base. What is the slope of the line tangent to that point, or just barely touching? In this case, the slope of the line would be just barely touching it across the bottom. And the derivative is a way to help us calculate that slope. So, uh, the, using El Hapital's rule, which calculates the derivative of the numerator and denominator of x, the derivative of x is 1. So it equals 1 over 1, which we know to be 1. So using El Hapital's rule, we can take, with a function that has a limit a, that equals 0 over 0, we can take the derivative of it and find a whole number. Whew, we made it through calculus. So now on to my second point. What constitutes an even number? An even number by definition is a number that can be divided by two and still has an integer, or basically a non-decimal number. So take six, for example. Six, you can divide it by two, and it still equals three, or a non-integer, or non-decimal whole number. 
Whereas if you have a number, say, 7, and you divide it by 2, it equals 3 and a half, which is not an integer. It has a decimal attached to it, so 7 is odd. Whew. Easy peasy definition. Now my third point, and the question I've been wanting to answer. Is 0 even or odd? So remember from my second point, the definition of an in even number, an even number, if it can be divided by 2 and still have an integer, and 0 divided by 2, as I talked about in the first point, 0 divided by anything equals 0. So 0 is in fact even. And an interesting point about this is you can rank even numbers depending on how even, if that makes sense, they are. If you have an even number like 12, for example, and divide it by 2, that equals 6, which can be divided by 2 a second time to equal 3. So 12 is like a second rank even number because it can be divided by 2 twice before it's not even anymore. And you can rank this for any even number. And zero is in fact very interesting because it is the most even number. Because if you have zero divided by two equals zero. Divide by two again and it equals zero. You can divide by two again and it still equals zero and you can continue this pattern on to infinity. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, is zero a even or odd number? See you in the next video.